Hello, I'm Marie Kerrigan, Domiciliary Care Policy Lead at QCS. As the weather continues to become milder and we move ever closer to summer, I hope you're able to enjoy the outdoors and you've been able to smile with your family and friends. Smiling is important for our well-being and happiness, and as we near National Smile Month, which begins from the 17th of May, we've chosen the Oral Care Policy and Procedure as this month's Policy of the Month. This policy will support in your understanding and management of the service use of oral care, which should be offered as part of the care planning and risk assessment process. The policy details aspects of oral health care, including denture care, that a service user might require. A useful assessment tool for oral health and an audit form included within the policy, which will support with the oral care service you can offer to people. At the beginning of April, we also saw a large number of COVID-19 updates as we continue to navigate living with COVID-19 and reaching a more normal way of life. For England, free testing was ended for the general public, while still being available for the adult social care sector. New infection control and prevention guidance alongside adult social care testing guidance was also released that providers should now refer to. As a result of these changes, we have been busy updating our policies and resources, including the coronavirus policy, COVID-19 testing policy, PPE policy, pandemic policy, sickness absence policy and the clinical waste policy. Be sure to take a look at these within the QCS system and keep an eye on your dashboard and the login page for the latest updates and policy releases. In Wales, we saw the release of the Social Care Transition Plan for April to June. This guidance on infection prevention and control measures for social care, as well as guidance on visits in and out of care homes, prompted the update of a number of key policies, including visits out of care homes policy, admissions during COVID-19 policy, and the COVID-19 testing policy. We will continue to keep you up to date with the latest COVID-19 requirements and update our policies and resources as guidance changes. Some further content highlights from this month include a selection of blogs and expert insights on hot topics affecting the country and more specifically the social care sector in the last month. They include a piece from a health and safety expert Napfins following the release of the new PPE regulations that came into force in April. Alongside the updates made to our central PPE policy and procedure, they have also produced a blog on the new requirements. In addition, a new podcast is also available, looking specifically at controlling risk in relation to PPE. The podcast explores the misunderstanding and mispractice of mitigating risk by having PPE. Take a look at these updates and new resources within your QCS system. As society continues to get to grips with the cost of living crisis, we have also produced a blog which looks at creating a wellbeing strategy to mitigate the cost of living increase. The blog looks at how employers can help and support staff during this period of instability. We also saw the announcement during April that support will come from the Health and Social Care Levy to allow providers to receive a fairer cost for providing care, with money being allocated to local authorities. You can refer to our blog for the latest information on this recent announcement. In addition to our selection of blogs, some new resources have also been added to the system over the last month. These include a Who's Who's organisation chart for our care home and supported living customers to allow you to visually display all people involved with the service and ensure that service users are familiar familiar with those who provide their care and support. Our supported living customers can also find a new person-centred skills mapping tool which will allow you to match service user needs to a support worker in a more person-centred way. In Scotland, the strategic framework has been updated following the First Minister's announcement and we have created a new core assurance checklist which mirrors the new inspections framework. This can be found in the Resource Centre on the QCS management system. And as we approach Dementia Action Week, why not request a free trial of the QCS Dementia Centre which will help you to support people to live well with dementia by using our range of resources to support you. Built around the internationally renowned PAL instrument, a valid assessment for understanding the ability of a service user with cognitive difficulties, the QCS Dementia Centre is a resource hub of evidence, tools and content offering guidance on how to deliver great dementia care. 
That is all for this month's highlights. Please keep logging on to your system for updates and please let us know what you think of any of our content via our Facebook groups.